Mikkel Lander is one of a number of riders at Team Sky who you wouldn't exactly be surprised if they made the podium of a Grand Tour. And this is his Pinarello Dogma F10. Team Sky raced on the Pinarello Dogma F8 in 2016 and they received the F10 at the start of 2017. The focus of the F10 is on aerodynamics. And when you think about it, that does make sense. For a smaller rider like Lander, it's very easy to get a top end race bike towards the UCI's lower weight limit of 6.8 kilos or even significantly below it, to be honest. So how do you make a super light bike faster? You make it more aerodynamic. So things like if there were a bottle in that bottle cage, it would integrate very smoothly with the down tube, make it more aerodynamic, helping Lander to go faster. And just the attention to detail on this bike as well. So you've got things like the seat post bolt clamps are very well hidden, barely visible, and even the trailing fin behind the front fork dropouts. Linking in with Team Sky's 2017 jersey, the lines on the frame represent some of the major victories of the team throughout its history. With the frame set covered, let's take a look at the build of Lander's bike. And starting at the very top, he's got a Physique Antares VS saddle with carbon fibre rails. The VS models of Physique saddles have a channel down the middle. Moving forward from there, he's got a Pro Stem. The Pro Stem is 121 millimetres in length. I think one of the things that we always marvel at about Team Sky's bikes is just the kind of lengths that the team and the mechanics are prepared to go to make sure the bikes fit as well as possible and go as fast as possible and stems in one millimetre increments still is amazing to me and I've been lucky enough to do pro bikes on a few Team Sky pro bikes now. The handlebars are also pro as is the bar tape. Lander's brake levers are Shimano's Dura Ace Di2 9150. Lander actually goes without sprint shifters or any extra shifters, which isn't too unusual for a climber. The front and rear mech are also Shimano Dura Ace, they're also Di2 and they're also 9150, which is the latest 2017 version of the group set. Lander's brakes are Shimano Dura Ace 9100 and they are standard mount. His chain set is Shimano Dura Ace 9100, as are his pedals. I actually really like the look of the new Shimano Dura Ace pedals. The bottom bracket on Lander's Dogma F10 is a threaded bottom bracket. And this is quite an interesting one as well because most teams now, or many teams, you will see using BB30 or PF30 bottom brackets and they require quite a lot of tools and often quite a lot of time to change. This slightly older style of bottom bracket, Team Sky went back to at the start of 2014 because their marginal gains philosophy goes further than just the riders. It also applies to the mechanics and the mechanics save a whole bunch of time changing and replacing these bottom brackets compared to a BB30 bottom bracket. Staying with the Dura Ace theme, Lander is running Shimano's new Dura Ace wheels. He's on the C40 version of those, so they are the lighter, although not by a huge amount, wheel set in the range, which would suit a smaller rider like Lander and also a rider whose priorities are the general classification and the hillier stages. The wheels are tubular and they are shod with Continental Competition Pro ALX tubular tyres which are 25mm wide. The one on the front actually looks brand new, like it hasn't even been ridden yet. With most of the build covered, let's have a look at a few of the finishing details. And One of the things I do quite like about the Dogma F10 frame set is just how neat the Shimano Dura Ace junction box integration is up on the down tube. I think that's pretty cool. And at the front, the mechanics have used heat shrink wrap just to keep the DI2 wires tidy and keep them close to the brake levers and to avoid any unnecessary damage. Bottle cages on the bike are provided by Elite. With all that covered, it's time for some vital statistics. Lander's tyres come in, according to our calipers, at around 24.7 millimetres wide. His saddle height is 70 centimetres and the reach from the nose of his saddle to the centre of his stem is around 54 centimetres. His stem, like we mentioned earlier, it's very clearly marked, is 121 millimetres and his handlebars are quite narrow, they are 40 centimetres wide, centre to centre. His cranks are 170 millimetres wide and he's using 53 39 chainrings. He's also running the Stages dual sided power meter on those cranks. His cassette, that's quite an interesting one. He's got an 11 through to 30 cassette, so that's a really wide range. Definitely one that will help on the steep climbs of the Giro d'Italia where we're filming this pro bike. With all of that done, just time for the free hub sound check. Subtle, I'd describe this one, it's quite quiet. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at Mikel Lander's Pinarello Dogma F10. Let us know what you think of it down in the comments. Hit the share button and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up too. To subscribe to GCN and get more great videos like this, click on our logo which is on screen right now and there is also a link to our shop on screen too. To see a video where Matt goes head to head against Mikel Lander's teammate Geraint Thomas, click right there. And to see another pro bike from Team Sky, click down there.